morning everyone welcome to my parking garage not a very exciting place I, I admit but I'm gonna take you out today on my Vespa after the video of 24 hours in KL that I showed you I wanted to show you more what I really do so come along in my neighborhood get to know it and see what I do really in a day Hi, I'm Taylor. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back if you've been here before. I'm an American expat living in Malaysia, and I like to share my life and my travel experiences with you. Everyone seemed to enjoy the 24 hours in KL with me, but I wanted to show you what a real morning with Taylor is like. I don't always go to fancy malls, as I'm sure you don't either. This is more of my day-to-day -day activities in my own neighborhood. Come along for the ride. Well, here we are back in the garage, and there's Vicky, my fabulous Vespa. We're gonna go off to the Mamak this morning. Come with me. It's not very busy right now, but I don't know what I'm gonna get. I think Roti Chennai, and that's always my favorite. Oh, and there it is. Doesn't that look good? All you have to do is tear off a little piece of it and dip it in the sauce, easy peasy. They tried to overcharge me, which is shocking, because they didn't do it on purpose. I got the total, it was nine ring and 50 cent, and I said, what, why so much? He said, two roti chinai and one tose masala. I said, no, I had tose masala the other day. So he took that off, and it was only six ring and 50 cent. Here's my neighborhood mama, restaurant namaste. And there's my building in the background, so convenient. And way up there is our apartment. This is a lovely row of restaurants here. We go to many of them. I'll tell you all about them sometime. There's houses on one side and restaurants on the other. I've eaten at La Brzada a couple of times. It's pretty good. And La Caritas is really good. Expensive though for Mexican. We had these the other night, and they're not really green color. It's just the lighting in the restaurant that makes them look that way. And the Daily Grind is right down the street. I had this delicious meatloaf just the other night. It was yummy, I'll say. And next door is 28 Fireplace, where I had my interview with CK. It was so much fun doing that. If you haven't seen that video, you're gonna to have to look it up. I'll put the link down below in the description to make it easy for you. The Enclave is a gastropub. We went there recently and had a delicious burger and they have 13 rink of beers at happy hour, which is a great deal. I've only eaten at Super Saigon once and that was carry out, so it's really not fair to judge it from that. But it was okay. And here's the whole row of restaurants. Doesn't it look nice? And across the street is this row of houses. I don't know if I'd want to live right across from these bars and restaurants, but they are expensive homes. And this is Brussels Beer House. It's good too, but it doesn't look very impressive from the outside. And here's a neighborhood grocery, a Chinese grocery. We go there sometimes. And this is the roasted chicken house. It's really good. And down there is all where the fancy restaurants are. And here we are right up against busy Ampong, Jalan Ampong. It's sort of a funny assortment of shops along here. Most of them are closed this day because it was a public holiday. And this is an Indian curry house we haven't tried, but it looks good and it's usually quite busy. The buffet looks nice. And here's a Chinese restaurant. There's two of them. And this is a funny little hardware store that looks like it just has everything you could imagine inside. Look at everything in the window. Oh my gosh. And here's the other Chinese restaurant, Pork Free. And this is Pizza Roma. It's really our favorite place to get pizza in KL. I think it's the best, but it's really an odd location here. You have to ring a buzzer to be let in. 
Their pizzas are really good. They have a great deal. You buy two pizzas and you get a margarita pizza free. Check it out. So that's a whole tour of that block. It's really interesting how one side is so upscale and one side so down to earth. I guess it's because of the location. Location, 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 as they always say. Well, we're off on the motorcycle now. I hope you're not scared to ride on her. Anyway, we're on our way to Ampang Point Mall. But first, I'm gonna take you down here in this little side trip, and we'll go see this park that I go to all the time. Here's the entrance, or one of them. We're gonna go to the back entrance this time. And here I am riding in on my bike. I bet you didn't believe I really rode one, did you? Now I've stopped at the park for a little walk. I love this lake. It's only a block from my house. I wish I could bring Earl right down. Isn't it beautiful and serene? You do hear some traffic, but it's not that bad. And there's our apartment across the way. See how close we are to this beautiful park? There used to be restaurants and an ice cream place over here, but they closed down due to COVID. I sure hope they open up again, because that would be so nice to sit there and look over the lake. It's hard to believe this is the middle of KL. If you look far in the distance there, you can see the Twin Towers. I've seen several boats out here rowing. I'm not sure if they're actually rowing though. From what I can see from the 28th floor, it looks like they might have a little electric motor. But it looks like a little boat of about 10 people and they go around the lake for an hour or so. Looks like fun. Maybe I'll try to figure out how to sign up for that. Oh look, there's a kayaker now. He's not using an electric motor. Maybe I just can't see very well from the 28th floor. Well, we're off now. I'm gonna head over to the mall. Come with me. Oh my gosh, I hear a roti man up ahead. They drive around neighborhoods selling bread. Look how loaded up he is. Wow, I've never seen like anything like that anywhere. I'm gonna drive by again so you can get a better view. Isn't that amazing? I don't know how he drives the motorcycle with all that bread on it. And here we are at Ampang Point. It's a really old mall, not fancy like the ones we go to in KLCC. It's old, old, old. Yes, opened in 1993. But it's super convenient and it has everything we need for the most part. Here's a couple of new places we like. One is Richiamo Coffee. And this is, a, I don't know how to say it, but a delicious frozen yogurt. I think they're pretty new, but they're right on Jalan Ampong. Here we are inside. I went there the night before and it wasn't very crowded, but so delicious. Here I am enjoying a delicious frozen yogurt. Now we're in the mall, Ampong Point. It's not fancy like the ones downtown, but it has everything we need. It's only about four levels. But look, there's even stores like Giordano's, so they're nice stores too. Actually, I do much more shopping here than I do in the fancy malls, that's for sure. We bought some furniture here too. And this is the back of the mall. It's more park-like, quiet back here off Jalan Ampong. And here's the other Mamak we go to. It's really convenient to our place too, but a little different atmosphere. We went last night. I'll show you. Well, I'm at a different Mamak tonight. We're gonna have Maggie Goring. It'll probably be better than mine though. Yeah, that's how Maggie Goring's supposed to look. Not all wet like mine. And right across the street is my bank. Can't get much more convenient than that. This area has sort of gotten a Middle Eastern flair. There's a shawarma place right there. And right next to it is a delicious pastry shop. Ooh, the sky looks sort of scary to me. I think I better head home. Well, I made it home okay. And later that night, I decided to check out 
Susie's Place, which is right next door. Oh, it's Susie's Corner, actually. You can see our building right behind it. I've only been there a couple of times, but they have delicious and affordable steaks. It's actually a food court, but they bring you menus, something I've never had done in any other food court I've been to. It's nice, though. And here's my steak. I got a sirloin tonight. I got the tenderloin last time. The price is amazing. Only 39 ringgit. And boy, is it good. Look, cooked perfectly. Medium rare, just like I like it. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. A little bit different than Pavilion Mall and KLCC, I'll say. If you enjoyed today's video, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate it, as you know. Well, that's it for today, but I have a lot more coming. You'll see. Thanks again. Talk to you later. Bye.